Are you able to see? Yeah. Yeah, so I did it in one flow, but I don't think it's working. I'm not uh, seeing. Show me what you have done. So this is the condition created or updated. Mm. And uh, we didn't edit any condition here. So in the decision, um, record status changed and record status does not equal to open mm. if it's not open then it's changed mm. in that case um, this is the like this is the index number will decrease here so open this part we have done in the last session right yeah yeah i, I actually then yeah sorry yeah but but it, we didn't test it we, we only did yeah yeah this part we did actually that day. So the left part is working right this part um actually i tested both and i don't think it it working both actually let me test again one minute So this is the this is the record and account and the right now it's there is nothing in the open opportunity. Mm -hmm. yeah. Should I make it zero? Yeah, you should make it zero. Yeah, because uh, actually I'm testing yeah. decrease. I'm the testing default decrease. Is zero, right. So yeah. why it is not there? Yeah, that's what I'm thinking because it's uh, I, I deleted some opportunities, but it should come to zero, but it didn't come. But I check that field. But I create, actually, a, I, create a new account and create new opportunities. Okay. Why it's taking time? So it's um, zero default value is zero here. And so now I will create opportunity. So so it's one one now. So I will edit the opportunity. So this is working. Hmm. And what is not working? So that this part is not working. This part. So in opportunity was uh, okay. Edit again. Edit the opportunity again.
So anything? No, no, no. Edit it back to open. This is working. No, but it's still one. One was there before only. You edited the same oh, opportunity. Yeah. yeah. Then, and what is the issue? But I was testing yesterday, and it was not. So it's it should be for new record also, right? So if I Get create one, one with yeah. So now this is okay, but when I uh, when I this is fine, but when I edit the record again, like now, let me try with editing any other filter. Yeah, it's it's becoming three. Because you are not checking whether the particular field is updated or not. So it might. So what you are checking is if the opportunity is updated or not. You need to check if that particular field is updated or not. That's what you need to check. Not here, not here. What are you doing? So here I will do that, right? Yeah, here. <coughs> here at condition at condition only no this is the you know, updating the okay, right? yeah so, so where i can check use the uh, no not here i'm not expecting this for you decision to add one more decision you need to add one more decision where you need to do it here do it So in this decision, we will like uh, will do that. So, that, the, uh, will is, the so that this decision is about hmm. increasing the count of open opportunities. Yes. So accordingly, create that decision. Okay. So this one. Uh, so this decision. Okay. So this decision was uh, open opportunity number count decrease. Okay. Now I need for the increase. What should be the decision? Think about it and do it. Is status open? No, that is not the only condition you are adding. So, so when it will be... first find out in which situations the counts will be increased. We in which scenarios the crown count will be increased. Uh, if the if the status is if if a new record is created with open status, right. And and if if the status is changed to open, if the status is changed to open, yeah, that is also right. But yeah. what yeah. is missing is whenever you are updating an opportunity mm. without That's updating true. the status, which means the previous status is open. You updated the opportunity. The current status is still open. In that case, also. Yeah, it is in the count, but it should not be. To do that, you need to add some decision here. And sorry, so uh, so you're saying that the previous status is open, 
but okay and but it's still the new status is also open like we are not editing the new status again the count will be increased only yeah. when the current status is open yeah. so there are two scenarios when a current status can be open one is the opportunity is created with a open yeah, status yeah. Mm -hmm. or it is changed with i mean changed from non open status to open status only in these two scenarios the count will be yeah. increased yeah so, so it's changed, the status is changed from other to open yeah yeah okay so this will be uh okay So in the default outcome, what is happening is if mm -hmm. the opportunity is created mm -hmm. or edited, would increase that. Yeah. So for creation, it is working, but for update, it is not working. So you need to do something so that mm -hmm. the update will work properly. so here uh, this will be um, status open sorry for my, I'm getting confused like what is happening actually what we will do in this decision i just told you we need to yeah change. so yeah so this name is correct i don't think so if we are like when we are creating a new this is working but when we are editing the status like editing other field see again i'm telling you you can edit any field but you are not editing the status field if you are not editing the status field then the count should not increase yes that's what you need to do so it's okay if the status is not changed in the opportunity the count should not increase that's what you need to do So here we will status. I guess is change false. Hmm. So if it is false, then the then, row will appear itself. Hmm. So there will be default outcome. Also, the record status is changed is false, hmm. and it is equals to open only. So, okay, it's it's change false and it's and okay status status okay. It should be anything, right? Like uh, whether it's uh, open or not, like when we are not editing the field, then it should not increase or decrease anything right so that will see you are just doing with the open so for other things you haven't done it yet you might need to do it in future also that time it will so that means issue. i need to do with the other one also like if it's decrease on the decrease also i need to add another decision for now just have it equal equal to open huh. which means it is not edited it is still open the previous value is open. the current value is still open mm -hmm. so if that is the case the flow will end yeah so there won't be any default outcome the default see if the status not change is true then it would be ending of that flow otherwise in the default outcome the rest of the logic will apply so that means i need to put this one here 
not here in the right side. Yeah. So it's uh, the same thing, the cut animal cut. Or else you can do one thing. Mm -hmm. See, scroll up. So what was that previous decision is about? It is this one? Uh, no, no, no previous what is the previous decision is about? And the other flow? Go to the same flow. So there are two decisions. Oh, this what decision. Okay, so this decision was the status changed to true. Mm. The status changed and mm. it's and it's not equal to open. Yeah, close it. Close it. And if it doesn't satisfy, it would be a default outcome, which means in the default outcome, we are taking the scenario like whenever the record is created or edited with any value. Right. So here there are two ways, like we are doing it here, right? Like this. If the status is not changed, it will be directly the ending point. Yeah. Otherwise, yes. If the status is changed, then only yeah. the particular logic will work. Yeah. Okay. So the action part will go to the default, will place under default outcome. The logic will be under the default outcome only. Okay. So to the default outcome this one i need to uh, yeah so it's just cut element right what you showed mm -hmm. that day yeah. cut element and here hmm. click on it click on it okay yes, okay and uh, there would be two ends okay uh, yeah. so here this will actually end here only this. Or you can keep it like this. Just uh, verify it is correct or not. See, first uh, we will take the decision whether it is updated with. Uh, I mean, if it is uh, the status is not changed, so we will verify that. If the status is not changed, then it would be directly going to the end. Else, mm -hmm. if the status is changed, the default outcome or it is created yeah. it is. It will follow this. Yeah. Save and try to active. Now manually edit it to two and again try to do it. Okay. Go to account manually. Yeah. It. So this one three right now. Manually decrease it to two. I will go to the opportunity and edit. Check the status. Oh, yes. Status was open actually. Now check the count. Okay, yeah, it didn't change. The flow is understood. Yeah, so let me ex let, let me actually clarify it. So this the first condition is whatever, like if it's wait, if wait, the wait. status does not change. Yeah. You can so just, listen. Mm -hmm. Just do one thing. Mm -hmm. You explain the flow to me. Yeah. Top to bottom, explain the flow. Yeah. So the first like we will take a decision whether uh, so the de decision is uh, we like the status has on hasn't changed like it, the status has changed to uh, status has changed but it's not open like it, it changed from open to other status mm -hmm. so in yeah. that case uh, if it's true then we will go uh, we will update the update the field uh, we'll update the record like We'll 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 decrease the 
will decrease one we decrease one by one count yeah. okay and if if this if the decision is false like yeah. if so if it's true then we'll go there if it's false then here we will come and we will take another like we'll uh, we'll see that if the status is not changed and and it was it was open but it was it was not it was not changed but it was open before mm. right yeah it was not changed but it was open before when we edit it so in that case if it's true then we will do nothing we will just go to the end like we will we'll do nothing mm. but if if it's false like if the status was uh, not open then in that case we will go and update we'll increase the account by one see the flow is still partially understood to you so yeah i'm actually there, are two, there are two things see this yeah. is very simple yeah. so there are two things number one mm -hmm. in one part you are decreasing the account yeah. and in the other part you are increasing the account so mm -hmm. when to decrease and when to increase you have taken mm -hmm. the first decision for that so one thing so i am just uh, not understanding one thing the same issue that we found i found here like i edited other field and it it increased the count okay yeah yeah yeah, yeah what you are saying like so there are two outcomes one is you are decreasing the count and the second outcome is you are increasing the count yeah so when to do it when to increase and when to decrease to decide that you have taken the first decision yeah so if the decision is true the yeah. left part will be secure and it will decrease yeah if the decision is false it will go to the right part and it will increase again. Mm -hmm. Now, in the increasing part, there are two things you need to check. Yeah. Number one, mm -hmm. that uh, I mean, there are only one thing, one decision you need to check. Can you close this? Mm -hmm. So, when it is about increasing the count, there mm -hmm. are one thing to decide, and that yeah. thing is whether an opportunity is edited without changing the status field or not hmm. if yeah. the opportunity is edited but the status is not changed then we will not do anything it will yeah be so one thing here so here we are saying that okay it's false like it, is, it didn't change and it's still open okay so the status is changed is false and it is open means yeah it's still the... Room, the status hasn't been changed which means yeah. the previous value was open only and the current yeah. value is open. so mm -hmm. if the status hasn't been changed but the opportunity is updated then mm -hmm. we will not change the count value so we are coming to an end mm -hmm. otherwise we will increase the count as simple as that yeah yeah okay yeah got it so uh like and when like if we create a new record so it's increasing the number right if with open opportunity so here only we are checking that first criteria first decision see again i am telling you if the record is being created mm -hmm. first we will take the decision at the first mm -hmm. decision Mm. whether it is changed or not so of course it is not changed because it is newly created so it will come to the right yeah. part yeah. so in the right yeah. part then it will check whether it was updated or not so of course there is no question of update because it is being created new yeah, yeah. so yeah. it would go to the default outcome and the yeah. count will be increased yeah okay yeah, yeah. Like for new record it will it will just end here only right where it will end like for the new see, record uh so see uh, for the new record it will first see what you need to listen first 
the number one thing is there are two decisions right yeah so the first decision if the record is created the first decision will be false yeah this one it will go to the right hand side in the next decision again it will be false because the record is created mm. this one so if we go to the right so side this one that decision it yeah. will go to the right part of the decision because the decision is false when the record is created and it will update the opportunity with the status i mean with the count status by one yeah increase the count and then and okay yes got it mm -hmm. this is the most difficult part of the mm -hmm. flow that we mm -hmm. are implementing yeah so if you are good with it then you can implement any kind of flows so this yeah. is the most difficult and most commonly asked question in interviews so this is called as mm -hmm. the roll-up summary for lookup relationship so we are implementing the roll-up summary yeah with lookup relationship i mean for mm -hmm. lookup relationship using flows mm -hmm. okay questions on that yeah no i'm yeah so this this kind of scenarios like uh like most of the like you what kind of scenarios you have seen this kind of things like always you have got mostly in your like practical practically see the see if you are using flow and you are implementing anything using flows yeah. so this is the most difficult scenario that you will face for your lifetime yeah. if you are good with it then any flow can be easily done mm -hmm. basically understanding like the logic actually yeah see the logic is in your mind only you were just implementing it using flows nothing nothing else mm -hmm. so the logic was there are two things again so why we are taking two decisions here because we are taking we are doing three different things that is why we are taking two decisions right mm -hmm. so, so one form, thing just one question like if it was only created here record is created then we wouldn't then we didn't need to take this one right this no. decision no yeah okay mm -hmm. So see here, what we are doing is simple as that. We are taking the, the decision mm -hmm. not to decide whether to do or not. I mean, not to decide whether to, whether to do it. We are taking a decision to decide whether not to do it. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. Right. Mm -hmm. If yeah. the decision fails, the default thing will happen. We are limiting things using decisions. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Got it. Mm -hmm. So here, like, actually, this part we are actually limiting. So. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. So, so I have a question on loop. Mm -hmm. So I can show you the that flow that the schedule flow that you did like uh, that you only the schedule did. flow we did with loop or any other flow was there. We did other flows also, but I I got the other other flows. I was clear, but the schedule flow that has that was a bit little uh, because that took us like entire one class and there <laughs> has like a lot of things change in between, like and you. Change few things again and again, so I got confused. I was going through the recording, and I, I am confused with that. I did that here, but I still have question. Open the flow. Yeah. The junction, the junction object actually this one. Junction. Yes. Mm -hmm. So this one, so the I am actually clear with this one, like get record where we are getting the last seven day record. Uh, we used mm -hmm. a formula here uh, to find out. Uh, the, so this is fine. So after that, uh, we we are we are uh, like we'll we're looping all each and every contact here. Mm -hmm. Okay. So after that, this assignment, like 
I am a bit confused with these two assignments. Like, what we are doing with there here? Because I think there are a lot of changes we made that time. Like, you, cre you added create record first, and then you removed that. And then we did other stuff, and then again removed. So I am a bit confused with this one. So in this one, what we are doing? Like, we are using two assignment here. So open the first assignment. So here we are okay assigning values, right? So what is a junction record creation that you did? What is that? It's a very variable, right? Yeah. Yeah, we created actually three, three variable here and uh, from first to end. And then like we used once in create record and then we deleted that again. And then so I am a bit confused with this flow. See, okay. Close this. Yeah. Or maybe we can Go. do something similar like this. Go to the variables. Explain each of the variable. What do you want to show? This is the get seven day. This is the loop, the variable that we used in the loop to get last seven days mm -hmm. records. Yeah, so in this yeah. in this variable, what will be the what will we store here? We store each and every record, uh, each and every contact that has been created in last seven days. Next variable. Next one is junction record creation. Uh, so this one is to create junction record. Right? So why we have created this variable? Any idea? Mm -hmm. That's why I'm confused. I'm not sure. To create a junction record, mm. first we need to store the values of the record somewhere. Then only we can insert the values. OK. So one thing. So we are not creating any record here, right? We are just storing the values. Scroll down. In the before end, we are creating the records. Yeah, we are here, creating here. Storing mm -hmm. the values. Before creating records, we need to store the values first. Then only we can insert the records, mm -hmm. right? So what mm -hmm. are the records? Rare records are the combination of values. So if you do not store any value, then how can a record be created? Yeah, so we are we are using two assignments. Like in both we are storing or let me explain first. So first, tell me, uh, what is the junction record creation record single variable? So the record single variable means it will hold only the values of one single record. If it is like record collection variables, it means it can hold multiple records at one place. Yeah. So it's it's actually holding all the records that has been created in the last seven days. No. All the contacts. See, before asking the question, first listen. Okay. So there are two kinds of variables. One is record single variable and record collection variables. Mm -hmm. The record single variable which will store the value of one single record. So if you are creating an account with a phone number one, two, three, four, then we mm -hmm. can store that record values in an account record variable. And if you want to store multiple accounts, if there are five or six accounts with different phone numbers and you want to store all those accounts in mm -hmm. one variable, then it should be record collection variable, which is a collection of record they can store. So okay. in the single variable, you can see there are, there is the variable called current item for loop all contacts, which means it will store each contact whenever we are looping through all the contacts so one contact we are visiting each day mm -hmm. and pointing each contact with this current item from loop all contacts that is a record single variable which can store only one record so here we created that variable to store a single record that we are visiting each time i mean single contact record that we are visiting each time and then we have created one more record single variable junction record creation. Mm. Which means B 
before creating a junction records first we need to make sure all the records which i mean all the junction records that are that need to be inserted would be ready okay so what we are doing is we are inserting multiple records i mean we are inserting multiple junction records at the same time right yeah, yeah. before inserting the multiple records in the same time mm -hmm. we do two things one we need to create each record we need to create each junction record that we want to insert yes so when we want to create each record one single junction record every time that record would be stored in the junction record creation single variable okay so single record like one record is we yeah. are storing yeah and then once the record is created we will create a record collection variable so what we will be doing is each time we will create one junction record and we will store it in the record collection variable which means store junction records every time we create one new junction record we will move it to store junction records so by the end we will have all the newly created Junk, I mean, new, temporarily new, newly created junction records in the stored junction record. So once we have made the stored junction records collection variable ready, we will insert this collection variable as part of create junction records, which mm -hmm. will create all the junction records at the same time. Okay. So again, so if we need to create junction records. We need to do two, two things one first we need to create each junction record we need to make ready each junction record yeah which we are doing with so the first is, okay this is okay so that's why we're not giving your allow multiple values okay so this one is we are creating we are saving one we're storing one like one junction record here right and this one we are saving all the we are storing all the junction records hello i have my connection lost okay, okay. Yeah. so again i'm telling you what we are doing here is so we are again we are creating junction records so whenever we are talking about creation it means mm -hmm. we are creating multiple records at the same time yeah. even it even if we are creating only one record still at that time also we will think that whenever we are creating a flow we will think that always we will create records we will create multiple records at the same time mm -hmm. so whenever we are create multiple records first we need to create each record at a time so we are creating record at a time using the first assignment so once the record is created once one record is created we will move it record collection variable in the second assignment mm -hmm. so whenever all the seven contacts i mean all, all the contacts from last seven days have been fetched yeah we will okay. move the record collection variable to the create junction records which will insert all the mm -hmm. records yeah so one thing from i am uh, one thing uh, so this one like store junction this is the collection one so this will be add the same we are using like again we won't be using this one see that's what yeah. before going to the second assignment go to the first assignment mm -hmm. so this is junction record creation this variable okay so in this variable we are making re re one record at a time so yeah. the first contact is fetched and we are creating the first junction record with the contacts account, right? Mm. So similarly, we are creating the first junction record. So the, uh, yeah, one minute, like so the one second, like so so that means like for to create one record, we are using all these values. See, so like once you need to create a record, you need to populate all these fields yeah okay yeah. so these yeah. fields values are coming from the contact itself hmm. we are taking value from contact and yeah. with those values we are creating junction record so okay. when we are 
fetching number one contact you are taking details from oh, number yes. one and we are creating function record number one with mm -hmm. details so once the junction record one is created mm -hmm. in the same assignment we will move that record to the collection variable okay so in that store function records variable the first record would be the junction record one similarly in the, in the next loop second junction record will be created and now we will move the second junction record in the store junction record collection variable which means now this collection variable we have will have two records similarly if we look for the third time it will create another junction record and it will store it into the store junction record variable which means after ending after ending the third loop the store junction records will be having three records similarly after 10 loops store, 10 loops mean after 10 contacts the store junction records will be having 10 junction records and yeah. the loop is complete which means when the all the contact records are fetched it will move out and it will go to the create junction records action yeah. okay yeah okay so so one thing like uh so now like after we are doing this we will create record so for or like the on our other flows like where we created like we uh, we use loop okay mm -hmm. Oh, section, yeah, this one, like, contact now. So, you know, I'm looking for a loop. Like we could on the session three, I guess. Yeah. Okay. Okay, for this one also we oh yeah. Okay, so here okay. Yeah, got it. So we are not creating anything right here. We are just updating and storing. Yeah. And, the, and then at the end, we will do. So you said nothing to create or update inside the loop, right? Yeah. yeah. But we updated this one, right? Update context email. We are updating and storing it here. Yeah. We are not storing it in the database. Mm -hmm. So whenever you update records at the end, that time mm -hmm. it will store in the database. OK. So through assignment, we are storing it basically, like updating each and uh, each each and every record in within the loop and storing it. Mm -hmm. So then at the end, we will update all at a time. Yeah. Okay. okay. Yeah. Okay. Can we do one one small uh, loop? Mm, yeah, do it. Find yeah, all the one example. Yeah. <coughs> so, for each account, you need to find uh, all the opportunities, and then you need to update all the opportunities phone number with parent accounts phone number. All the opportunities phone number with okay. We don't have opportunity field like opportunity phone number field. So can we take a, there's something different, like uh, opportunity? Email you can do. Yeah. So if email is uh, on account, if email is edited or created. So of course, see, when the account is created, initially, okay. there would be no opportunities. Without an account, the yeah. opportunity should not exist. Yes. Yeah. It should be updated. 
yeah so if so your, your criteria that like you're saying that when an account is edited with the email is edited account email mm -hmm. then it will update the email of the on the opportunity also right? yeah all the opportunities of that account yeah so let's uh, do the description because i there is no email in opportunity okay maybe there should be let's say opportunity name so whenever the account name is updated yeah the same thing will be copied into opportunity yeah so it's updated only hmm. account name is updated account name created though okay account oh, yeah yeah if we create it then opportunity will be created after yeah so in this case account name uh is changed true he will already mentioned updated so why is oh yeah no criteria yeah 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 right we already mentioned but if you remove the name from an account mm -hmm. for now as it a, as it is a required field it's fine but if it is a custom field and if you remove yeah. the name to blank then what will happen so if we remove the account name we should not make any edit to the opportunities okay so should i add the criteria edit don't ask me just do it mm -hmm. um, uh, sorry uh, what was what did you say that it will if if we remove then it will not update right mm -hmm. so um, now, Oh, this account ID. Get record now. We'll use the loop. So here we'll create one variable first.
Store each of is a record single. But what? Why are we yeah. storing its opportunity? So you he can do um, it. Okay, do it. No, I'm I am confused. It in this part only. So here, like we will create one uh, this this variable, right? To see to, again. Um, so yeah. you have to understand carefully. Hmm. We created in the previous example when we are creating records. That time we created because the record is it didn't exist, and we have to create one new record. To yes. create one new record, we have to put some values over there. That is why we created one created variable. That variable. Okay, yeah. If the record is already here, you just need and to we don't it. need this. Okay. So yeah, in that case, we don't need this variable. Delete it. So now we will we will actually sign this here. We'll actually assign from here. Mm, yeah. Oh, wait, wait, wait. So, no, no, no. Remove that first one. Search again. Record single loop. variable. Yeah, loop, loop. Yeah. Name. Okay, we are updating the name. Yes. So this will be account name. <coughs> so now we will store all the updated records in a list. You store uh, one record at a time. Yeah. yeah. Where? In a variable first. Did so you I create to, a variable? No, I didn't. I have to create one variable. This will be allow multiple, right? Hmm. Storing all. Okay. So, in the previous videos. So I told you to remove something, right? So you understood, right? Why I told you to remove things? Remove what you said to remove? For example, you were telling that you got confused because I asked you to do something and then I asked you to remove that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Why I, yeah. I, I, I explained, right? Why we remove this? So yeah, yeah, you, you explain, but I am. I actually, I saw the uh, like before that you showed me so many loops, so I got confused with the before one and after one actually. So but that was that different session, case actually. Mm -hmm. Again, 
revisit those videos and understand mm -hmm. why I asked you to remove. That is also yeah. important. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So this one. This one only, right? No. You are adding the same thing in that only. What are you doing? First only. Yeah, but, but in that that one we did that. That's why I'm actually we we did the same thing in the other one. The schedule flow. No, we didn't do the same thing. Here what we need to do is you need to store the updated opportunities. Yes. So yeah, we are storing and we'll store it in a list. Remove this. Yeah, okay, I got it. Yeah, no. Okay. So you have to do it this one. Do mm -hmm. and that's it. Yeah. And then at the end we will update. So one question from like well, this one an update record like what is the difference like when update triggering record means what is the triggering record here the same record that uh, which is uh, creating like triggering the update what is the record triggering. what type like, of record like uh, here like account is triggering so are we going to update the account records no we will be updating the other so if, if we are uh, if we need to update then i can use this one only right mm -hmm. okay update. last one oh specify condition so i'm uh, so what like when no. to use this one and when to use this one then wait, wait. so okay. long mm -hmm. uh, so what you need to do is wait. Mm. yeah select opportunity okay and send the value account name so first account id not account id but um, yeah. Wait, wait. Do one thing. Uh, mm -hmm. Close this. I mean, uh, just wait. Uh, yeah. Roll up. So here we are not writing. Mm. Uh, choose a third option. Third option. Now use your collection. Uh, this one? And yeah, that one. And also, you need to do one more thing that is done here. Uh, you need to store the IDs as well. So I need up. to create one more variable. Okay. No. Go to update opportunity. Assignment, okay. add assignment. Mm. Right. Let me think. Uh, yeah, just uh, take the ID from the opportunity. Account Current ID. Okay. Current item. What you are doing? Just take the ID from the current item. Okay, okay, yeah. This one ID. Scroll down. Again, the current item ID, ID only.
think it's, it will it's fine right yeah so why uh like uh, why we i did, we didn't do this like before like this kind of we didn't do click on done scroll up click on create all opportunities scroll down automatically store it's okay so we were storing all the fields okay okay cancel this if you're storing all the fields i think if you do not do that thing still it should work okay do one thing go to the update opportunity remove the second assignment and save Sorry, activated. Uh -huh. Refresh the page. Refresh the page. I think it doesn't have any opportunity. Let's create one. Yeah. It is ABC test. Hold on. If it's a test, yeah, yeah. It came as a if it's a test. Uh, should I change, try editing? Change the account. Yeah. Name. Yeah. Yes. I think any other flow is working. Yeah, I changed to limited. Hmm. I think some flow is active on opportunity during the creation oh, no no actually any uh, not other flow is act, no other flow is active actually then because how come account name after this place? only it started well normally i have to give account na opportunity name and it come as i think mm -hmm. it's a yeah it's this flow only creating this because I did this morning also, I created opportunity. Create a fresh, create a fresh account. Okay. Create a fresh account and create a fresh account and opportunity both. Okay. So first create one opportunity hmm. with status open. So I'm giving many name. Any name with status open. Okay, yeah. So this is uh, fine right now. And so this is the open status is doing this? Or? 
nothing go to the account and edit first check the number of open opportunities zero wait wait first we need to check whether both the flows are working fine or not hmm. so the zero is not working fine because it's zero is still there is zero should i refresh it yeah refresh Yeah. Mm, okay. This is running during the creation. Um, okay. Mm. Do one thing. Try to deactivate that account flow. This one or junction? Yeah. No, sorry. This is junction record one. No, not this one. I think that account update. This one you're saying, right? Deactivate this. Okay. Delete the opportunity. And create one. Okay. This one. So whenever you are creating flows, you need to ensure that the previous flow is not failing. Yeah. Okay. So with open. Hmm. Yeah. It's, it's minus one. Yeah. Should not happen. Create a fresh account and do. So let me check with uh, zero. Then it's zero. So the flows are independent, but why yeah. there it open? Yeah. Refresh. Something happened. Why it is it again? Oh yeah, it's not working. Mm. The other ones are those are actually deactivated. Those the other that we created in part part deactivated those deactivated those. This I one. think that's the problem then. Okay, for now, just uh, don't care about this count flow. Okay. Just check yeah. the other flow that we did. Okay. First activate. Activate. Yeah. Okay. No. So the I'll change the yeah. I will change the name of opportunity uh, account name. The opportunity name is this. I will change the so try to implement that same flow in a fresh org. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. This one. Now details of the account and refresh. Sorry, what did you say? Yeah, Go it worked. And refresh. Okay. Check the account here. Mm. Try to put in a fresh org and check okay. if it is working. Yeah. Okay.
sometimes it yeah. happen. Should I do uh, it now or I can do it on like it. you can create a new playground or whatever okay. and try to create the same. But you understood the two flows, right? How the flows yeah. are working. Yeah, yeah. That's all. Fine. Just yeah. try to improve. maybe because of the lot of flows it might happen. Mm -hmm. So special you can test. But mostly, like you know, I whatever the flows we I created from those session, I all deactivated those. I tested those and deactivated. It can happen from a server, either from the Salesforce server or from your browser okay. cache. Anything can happen. Mm -hmm. So yeah. just take a fresh all and test it. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I will. I will try that today. Okay. All right. Yeah. So okay. let yeah. first let me, yeah, first let me stop the recording. Yeah. So yeah.